Hi, thanks for watching these short videos designed to encourage, educate, and empower you for greatness. Today I want to continue our series called Kingdom Relationships. There are five things you need to know in order to operate in a kingdom relationship that will result in living a blessed and bountiful life. If you want to learn more about kingdom relationships, please stay tuned. We hope you are being blessed through this video ministry. If so, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing these videos with your family and friends. This allows us to reach more people for the kingdom of God. So far in the series, we've talked about the first two things, our place and our purpose. And now let's talk about the third thing God gives us. Genesis 2.16 says, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. The third thing God gave man was provision. You can be in the right place, have the right purpose, but without provision, you won't last too long. God always provides for his agenda. This is why it's so important to know and operate within your divine purpose. God always funds his program. The word provision is made up of two words, pro and vision. Pro means in favor of. Vision means the ability to see, having insight and discernment. In other words, God is in favor of giving us what we need to fulfill our divine purpose. Godly provision is not based on what we see, rather it's based on what God sees and knows. He knows all and what is best for us. God told man, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. In other words, here is your provision. Your sustainability to do what I have purposed you to do. If man would have taken the provision that God gave him, he would have been satisfied, secure, and submissive to the provisions God gave him. Because he wasn't secure and totally satisfied with God's provision, Satan deceived the woman by telling her, God didn't provide everything you need. You won't surely die. God left something out. He held something back from you. When we don't use the provisions God has given to us, we will look for other provisions. When she looked beyond God's provision, she saw the unforbidden tree, that it was good for food, pleasant to the eye, and desirable to make one wise. So she ate and gave to Adam and he ate. The Bible says, then their eyes were open and they knew they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. You see, when they failed to use God's provisions, they lost their place. They were put out of the garden. They lost their position as rulers over the earth. They lost their purpose following God's commands and they began following the devil's suggestions. If your provisions from God don't empower your purpose, then you might want to check your divine purpose. You may be following the devil's suggestions. God's provisions will align with his purpose 
for your life. The Hebrew word for freely eat is akal, which means you may freely dine, you may freely devour or consume. This is amazing because God gives us an abundance when we operate in the place and purpose he has for us. God always provides where he guides. If you have to go out and try to figure out how to provide for what God has called you to do, you might want to make sure that God called you to do this. You see, God always funds his plans and purpose. Many times we set up our own plans and purpose. Then we come to God and we say, Lord, bless it. Lord, provide for it. Lord, fund and promote it. This is why many church leaders are constantly begging for more money and provisions. They have moved from the place and purpose God called them to. And when they're trying to operate from a different place and a different purpose that God has sent them to, God stops funding their agenda. So man will set up his own GoFundMe and try to task the people to fund their own agenda. I believe everyone who contributes to buying a pastor a new jet should be allowed to fly on that jet whenever they want to. Also, I think every time that jet flies to fulfill God's purpose in spreading the gospel, it should be filled with church members. When a church buys something for the kingdom of God, the pastor should not be the only person who uses this resource. You see, God's purpose is bigger than one or two people. Jehovah Jireh will provide everything he has purposed for his kingdom. Finally, when we receive the provisions of God for our lives, it is always enough. When we eat from all of the trees in the garden, then we won't have time to focus on the one tree that God has set parameters for. Next time, we'll talk about the fourth thing you need to know in kingdom relationships. Please don't miss that lesson. Again, thank you for joining me for this video. God bless you, and I hope to see you the next time.